This week, tech and foreign policy spaces were kind of blowing up with this news that a China-based open source reasoning large language model known as DeepSeek R1 was found to match on some core, pretty core tasks, the performance of OpenAI's O1 model. And the biggest thing about this was that it had done so at what looked like a fraction of the, of the cost. This Chinese model was able to reach parity almost with a, a model that's you know, being trained on much higher, much more sophisticated chips. So this has led to some kind of questioning in policymaking circles in the national conversation around uh, export controls. Should we uh, really be pursuing this export control regime if China uh, seems to have been able to really uh, achieve parity with US models despite them? And some important things to remember about this is the conclusion around export controls is premature. Other breakthroughs that we've seen in the past in Chinese chip technologies were actually not the result of this kind of indigenous innovation or doing more with less, but were really developments that were underway before export controls really seriously impacted the supply of chips and semiconductor equipment available to Chinese firms. Uh, in late 2023, for example, Huawei announced that it had produced a smartphone with a seven nanometer chip, which was supposed to be kind of impossible to do based on export restrictions. But really this was actually a result of China hoarding lithography equipment before uh, Dutch export controls came into place. So they were able to kind of buy themselves some time uh, before export controls really hit to produce these kind of chips. And there's evidence that there's a similar dynamic that's happening with DeepSeek. Uh, China AI researchers have pointed out that there's still data centers operating in China running on lots of pre-restriction chips. DeepSeek AI has said that they have access to these more sophisticated H100s that they won't be able to have access to in the future. And so really what we might see is that as you know, export controls really catch up, as this next generation of architecture comes out from N NVIDIA, the Blackwell architecture, and as that really starts to be more fully integrated in the US AI ecosystem, we'll really see kind of the impacts more broadly on China's national AI ecosystem and we'll see kind of the, the lags show up.